Okay, I'm going to show you how to do an eight an eight stitch cable cross, right cable cross, and you can kind of see that there, what I'm doing, and I'm showing you flat, but because of how the rows work, it won't change up much if you decide to do it circularly. So, let's get started. This is going to be row one. I like to pearl my edges. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. So my row one is going to be ERAP eight. This is going to be row two, Arab, your eight. Okay, this is going to be row three. You're up eight again. And this is going to be row four. Okay, this is going to be row five, and while we've been going kind of fast, um, this is where it's going to change up a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to e-wrap three regularly, then you're going to double e-wrap, double e-wrap three. and then ear up two. Okay, this is your actual cable row. What you're going to do is you're going to release those double e wraps, the top loops, those three pegs, and then you're going to spread the tension out among those eight stitches. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do our cable crossing. Here's where you're going to need your stitch holder. Okay, what you're going to do to do a right cable cross with eight stitches is you're going to skip pegs one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to e wrap pegs five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're going to toss those loops over. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take and put stitch eight, then stitch seven, and then stitch six, and then stitch five onto your stitch holder. Then you're going to take those stitches off, hold to the center of the loom, bring the working yarn in front, and wrap pegs one, two, three, and four. Toss those loops over. Then you're going to pick up stitch four, place on peg eight, pick up 
pick up stitch three, place on peg seven, and I like to pick, pick up those last two. Pick up stitch one, then stitch two on my stitch holder, I mean on my hook, and I place stitch two onto peg six, and stitch one onto peg five. Okay. Then I'm going to pick up my stitch five from my stitch holder, take it off, and place it on peg one. Then I'm going to take my stitch six off the stitch holder and place it onto peg two. I'm going to take stitch seven off of my stitch holder and place onto peg three. Then I'm going to take my last number eight stitch and place it onto peg four. At this point you want to go in and you want to tighten up your stitches starting with peg one, then tighten up on peg two, three, four. This one, because it's where the cross is, can give you a little more trouble. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Then I'm going to purl that last one. Now, that is how you do a eight stitch right cable cross on a loom and I would suggest if you're going to try it to do it on a half inch gauge and or smaller okay and um, I'll tell you you can vary the rows you do just regular in between your cabling but this is just a nice even level um, spacing with cabling with those six rows but it can be more or less if you want um, but that's how you go about doing the eight stitch right cable cross